Hey guys, this is Daniel with Champion Industries. And the question has come in, somebody was wondering about how we load things on the flight type dishwasher. So I've got a multitude of different trays and a plate right here. We're just gonna show how it all goes on. Now one of the first things to remember when loading it on the dish machine, I've got this one warmed up and running right here, is when you load things, they're gonna face away from you. Like I got this plate right here we use for testing. I'm gonna set it right down on the belt just like this. So we'll take this facing away from us and uh, we've got our little photo eye right here. Now if nothing goes by that photo eye for a couple minutes, the machine will automatically go into kind of an energy saver mode and shut itself off. But for now, we're going to take these trays, just load them right here on the belt, again facing away from myself. So we'll just load them right on here, sometimes you got some other items that maybe can fit in there. Just going to load these on, now I've got here these trays. I'll do one right after another. Cool. So we'll let those run through the machine and we'll come down and meet those on the other end. So down here at the unload end of the machine, what we have is our, uh, our safety stop down here. So if I, for some reason, got busy, wasn't unloading the machine, wasn't paying attention, as soon as this plate comes in contact with this right here and pushes it, it'll go ahead and stop the drive. That way we don't have any sort of jam. as you can see right there. So instead of me just grabbing the first plate or whichever is stopping this, because let's say that was the first plate here, and I'll push this back and it'll start it back again, and then ultimately the next plate in line is gonna stop it again. So what I would wanna do is go in here and clear a good ways, maybe clear myself as far as I can reach, stack these up so I can take them somewhere to dry, and then I'll go ahead and grab this plate and start the drive back up. That'll give me a couple minutes to get caught back up before the machine's going to ultimately stop itself again.